this right here in this whole valley is telling me something just by looking at this type of ground. And then look over. I see that the rock layers went this way at one time, arched up. So that was all washed away. And why was it washed away like that so easily by the Connemaw River? Well, this old strip mine, this old coal mine, tells you the whole story here. And you know, sometimes if you really look, these rock layers are like pages in a book that is all out of place. And especially when you mine it, you can find uh, instances of it. I like this right here. There's a fossil of a tree. Ancient tree millions and millions and millions of years ago that lived here and was deposited on this mountain and grew here. And it's in like this slate, this red dog slate, they call it. So what you have is a very strong clay-based sedimentary rock that is along this sandstone and uh, limestone. So you have an ancient swamp right here. On top of that was a, an ancient forest that fell into it and fell into it until it filled up. Then it became your uh, basic rock layers. It was an ocean. So the, um, the slate and the limestone melted with the water. The water wore through it. It's softer. You can see how they piled all this up here on this path I'm walking. Every bit of it it's piled up, and just like a storybook, you can take these layers of rock, you can fold through them, one page to another. When I was a kid, I spent hours in places like this looking for one fossil like the one I just found there and uh, just to get a brief look into the history <laughs> and I mean look at this rock this is all fossil but this this is actually a fossil of a fern tree in sand so it shows you the dichotomy of the difference between the layers of rock as they were worn down, as they built one up on top of the other, and as when the mountains rose up, it all became one very, very large mountain range, like layers of a cake is the best way to think of it. Some of those layers were softer than others, so when the water, and glaciers and everything started to wear down on it, the softer places formed weaknesses in the mountain and these gorges formed some of them formed as gorges some of them formed as uh um wind wind uh waves and it it's all kinds of interesting plants here is a very interesting native plant you only find in this area a little evergreen now it's a place for people hang out party yeah, you may as well <laughs>